This is not a coding tutorial. Instead, this is a tutorial on how to copy and paste more than 1500 lines of code right into your project. With this graph, you can easily show game statistics, math functions, and maybe even art. I've already added more than 70 different settings for the graph, such as selecting multiple points at once, and selecting an area which you can zoom into. So you're going to have to create two different scripts for this. The first one should be called graph handler, uppercase G and uppercase H. And the second should be called graph settings, uppercase G, uppercase S. If this video might be saving you a lot of time, I'd really appreciate it if you on your way down to the description left a like on the video, where you'll also find a link to the code. The graph handler script is around 1300 lines of code long, so just selecting and scrolling down will take a long time. So if you have a numpad, pressing 3 or page down will save you a lot of time. Now you'll just have to copy, head back to Visual Studio, and paste it in the graph handler script. Now we'll have to get back to GitHub and go to the graph setting script instead. This is where you'll find most of the customization options such as colors and size for the graph. Copy. And paste. Don't forget to save both of the scripts before heading back to Unity where we'll create a new game object. I'll call that graph handler. This will hold both the scripts that we just pasted. And we're almost done. We're going to have to assign two things first. The first one is a TextMesh Pro font. If you don't have TextMesh Pro installed, I'll show you how to install it. And a sprite. I have a dot. It's just a simple circle. So if you don't have TextMesh Pro installed already, uh, you can go to the window panel on the top and go to Package Manager, select Unity Registry. And if you can't find TextMesh Pro while scrolling, you can just search for text. And I already have it installed, but for you, it's probably going to have a button called install. So we're actually already done. You can just hit play now and it's going to create a graph. So the next four minutes, I'm just going to show you a bit on how to use the graph, but you should be able to zoom out now and move around. And you'll also notice that the graph handler game object is under a canvas that it created. It also created a lot of different game objects underneath it. And yeah, be sure to check update graph in the graph handler. This will enable you to customize different colors at runtime. So uh, I'll just deactivate the outlines. Um, yeah, so you can uh, just change the colors however you want now. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll just uh, deactivate the unfi unfixed point outline. I'll come to that, what that means. Uh, but right now um, we can, I'll just go up. So there are different options. Uh, it's select and fix zoom point. So select is gonna select and lock the points and it's called locked points in the script it's a list that holds the indices of these points so if you want to get the values you can take the locked points index and go to a list called values where you can see the positions of each point The other point selection type is called fix zoom point. If you click on a point with that enabled, it's always going to zoom in relative to that point so you never lose focus of it. And yeah, the next um, thing I'm going to show, that I showed that in the intro, but I'll cover that again. Um, I'll just offset myself. Whoops, I'm still locked onto that point, so I'll have to deselect it.
So I've already showed you the uh, select area to zoom function. It zooms you in into like the area you select, but uh, there are three different options for this. It's free and preserve aspect ratio and makes it never get distorted. And if it gets distorted, you can use original aspect ratio to get back to normal. And there is select points. I showed you this. Uh, there are two different options for this. It's select all and select unselect. It's going to select the unselected points and unselect the selected points. So I'm going to choose select area to zoom again for this next showcase which is um, you can even change the colors of the zoom selection and the point selection as well. But um, yeah, I can change this to some orange and I can also change the outline width. And of course you can also change the graph size to be whatever you want. Um, and the graph scale as well. The graph handler has four main public methods. The first one is uh, create point. It creates a new index uh, with a new value or the position. And the next one is called change point. It takes the index of the point you want to change and also the new position of that point. Set corner values is basically the select area to zoom function that I showed you. It takes the new bottom left and the new top right of the uh, of the graph. And update graph basically updates everything. This doesn't happen all the time because that would be very bad for performance. So of course, let me know if uh, you want me to explain something or make another video explaining and diving deeper into the script. Um, for example, explaining the binary search algorithm that I have somewhere, I can't find it now. Um, here. And if you have any suggestions for improvement, also let me know. So I hope this helped you out and uh, subscribe if you like free code or something. See ya.